Hello. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your audio way better in your videos for free. Coming up now. Okay, as we know today, we're making way more video, we're publishing it on social media and our websites, and it looks better than it ever has, and it's easier than it ever has been to do. Now, how about your audio? Not everybody has access to a decent microphone or a quiet space to record. So sometimes you have traffic or background fan noise, or there's a plethora of distractions that can happen. Well, did you know that Adobe now has a free website that uses AI? I know AI is everywhere, right? It uses AI to clean up your audio and make it sound fantastic. But you have to learn how to take your video file, separate that audio, send it to Adobe, get it back, and reattach it before you publish it. So we're going to teach you how to do that right now with a free desktop software called CapCut. It's a video editor. It's available on PC and Mac, completely free. So let's dive right into it right now. Okay, once you have CapCut downloaded, go ahead and launch it. And once you launch it, start a new project and it'll look like this. We're gonna go ahead and import the video by clicking the import button over here in the left corner. And we're gonna import the video that we want to separate and clean up the audio from. So in my case, it's right here and I'm just gonna click import. And once it's imported, just drag it down here to our working timeline. Now, at this point, don't do anything yet to the video. We're not going to edit yet. We're just going to export. Up here in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the export button. At the top, you just leave it named whatever it's defaulted to. And export to, it's going to save it by default to your desktop. In my case, I am going to save it to the original uh, video files location. And now when I save the audio, notice how I don't have video clicked, I just have audio clicked. It's gonna export the audio file to that location and just click okay, and you're done. Now we're gonna jump on over to our web browser and I'm gonna show you how to get that audio all cleaned up nice and neat. We'll see you over there. Once you're in your favorite web browser, just go ahead and navigate to podcast.adobe.com and it will look something like this. It may ask you to log in. There's ways to make a free account. If you need to, go ahead and do that. I'm not 100% sure if you have to or not. But once we're in there, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to where we see AI powered audio, and we're gonna click try it out. And now it's gonna bring us to this screen where it gives us the option to upload. When we click upload, navigate to where we saved the audio from CapCut. In my case, I saved it to the same location as the video file so I could remember. So go ahead and click it and upload. And this is gonna take five or 10 minutes maybe. And so we will speed things up here with the magic of editing and I will see you when we're done. Okay, once it's finished, the uh, screen will look something like this and you'll have the option to download it. Go ahead and download it and it's gonna save to wherever the default of your web browser is gonna save to, whether that's the desktop or a downloads folder. I am going to then move it to the original location of the video project and I will see you back in CapCut once that's done. Hey, welcome back to CapCut. We are now going to import that fixed audio. Uh, in the upper left hand corner, we're gonna see this little import button, click that, and navigate to wherever you saved the fixed audio. And you're gonna know it's fixed because it's gonna have the wording in it. If we go to list view, you'll see it's called enhanced now. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and import it. And make sure now, before we do the next part, that your little bar here is at the front, the beginning. Click, and we're gonna drag that new audio file down, sorry if you could hear that, below here and line it all the way up to the left. And if we select both the video and the audio files and right click, 
at the bottom, you can see sync video to sound. It'll do it automatically and you're done. What we want to do now though, is make sure we click the original video file and go to audio and lower its volume all the way down. And now we should have nice and clean audio for our video. Okay, well, we need video to demonstrate this. So I'm gonna record this and that sounds pretty good. Once you're done, you just go back up to export. Make sure you deselect export audio and select export video and go through the settings that you prefer and click export and your fixed video is finished. All right, I hope everybody was able to follow along and I hope that helped and you guys got something out of it. So let's get out there and make some better videos.